Greetings in Christ and welcome to our channel, Heaven Warning. I pray that you have an amazing day in Christ. We hope you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Come along on a journey with us and see this movie through to the end. Father Michel Rodriguez, a Canadian priest, has received a profound message that sheds light on humanity's future during these difficult times. This message emphasizes the approaching of a pivotal time that would be characterized by divine justice and purification. He claims to have received it from God the Father through heavenly revelations. In his view, this period of unprecedented adversity would be marked by widespread violence, economic instability, and natural calamities. This insight serves as a wake-up call for everyone, urging prompt spiritual preparation as the world gets ready for its most important historical moment. Father Michel's observations indicate that humanity will experience unprecedented trials and sufferings. He claims that because of the spiritual state of the world, which is marked by widespread sin, corruption, and a departure from God's teachings, a time of divine justice is approaching. He discusses how the quantity of sin that currently pervades the world causes God much sorrow and aggravation, manifesting itself in moral decay, apostasy, and the rejection of divine principles. According to Father Michel, humanity's pervasive disregard for God's commands has led to an inevitable period of cleansing suffering. Due to our collective transgressions, the world is destined to undergo a series of divine retributions, including global wars, natural disasters, and a catastrophic economic collapse. This is not a coincidence. Rather, it is a direct result of our spiritual estrangement from God. He urges everyone to take immediate action, especially those who have not yet recognized the gravity of the current spiritual crisis, and stresses that this upcoming purification will be the last chance for humanity to return to God. As the window of opportunity closes, those who disregard the call to repentance run the risk of suffering terrible consequences. Father Michel cautions that the time of divine kindness is drawing to a close and that a time of divine justice is rapidly approaching. Despite the grim warning of impending tribulation, Father Michel offers hope to those who remain faithful to God. In his visions, he describes how God has created both material and spiritual shelters to protect those who find comfort in God's love and instructions. However, access to these refuges is restricted to those who are spiritually prepared and in line with God's intention. One of the most important aspects of Father Michel's teaching is the emphasis on devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. These two Sacred Hearts are presented as the ultimate in spiritual refuges, where Christ followers might find peace, strength, and security among the looming chaos. Father Michel stresses that daily prayer, sincere devotion, and dedicating oneself and one's family to these Sacred Hearts are all crucial ways to deepen one's relationship with Christ and the Virgin Mary. In addition to spiritual havens, Father Michel explains, there would be physical safe havens, sanctuaries of calm and divine protection scattered around the earth. According to his visions, these havens are illuminated by a supernatural light that points to specific locations where God's chosen will be guided. However, not everyone will have access to these sanctuaries. Only those who have been marked by a heavenly seal an invisible cross on the forehead seen only to angels will be able to enter these safe havens. This mark will be given to those who are in a state of grace and who persistently follow God's instructions. These physical havens offer security, but they are also essential places for profound spiritual growth. In addition to surviving physically during this trying time, individuals who find refuge will have the opportunity to deepen their faith and grow closer to God. Father Michel's teachings also provide a sobering warning about the role that modern technology plays in the spiritual struggle. He claims that the devices we utilize on a daily basis, including computers, smartphones, televisions, and even modern cars, are being used by evil spiritual forces as instruments of control and monitoring. He cautions that even when we believe these devices are not in use, they are monitoring our activities, listening in on our conversations, and collecting data that could be utilized to further control our spirituality. According to Father Michel, the dangers of technology extend beyond the mere gathering of data. 
He argues that our growing dependence on electronic devices subtly alters our thoughts, feelings, and judgments, making us more vulnerable to spiritual attacks. Accepting terms and agreements without fully understanding them may mean allowing spiritual entities to enter our souls. According to him, this type of control is part of a bigger plan to keep us from God and make us more susceptible to bad influences. Father Michel advocates for a drastic break from modern technology and exhorts believers to simplify their life and lessen their reliance on it. According to him, this will allow pupils to focus more on spiritual matters and less on material ones. Although he acknowledges that this may seem overly dramatic or unfeasible in the current world, he emphasizes that once the chaos begins, it will be too late to escape the web of electronic control. Father Michel refers to a turning point in his prophetic message as the illumination of consciences. He claims this great time of grace is coming shortly, and that everyone, regardless of faith, will experience a worldwide spiritual awakening. For a moment, time will appear to stop, and everyone will be able to see their sins, flaws, and omissions. Father Michel believes that this occurrence will serve as a final call to repentance before the period of suffering worsens. The illumination of consciences will be humanity's last opportunity to turn away from sin and embrace God's mercy. Nevertheless, he cautions that not everyone will profit from this divine favor. Some people will experience a life-changing event that leads them back to God. Sadly, it can cause others to reject God's grace even more and harden their hearts even more. For individuals who are attempting to live in accordance with God's plan and are now in a state of grace, this occurrence will serve as confirmation of their spiritual journey. People will be encouraged to deepen their faith and make a commitment to leading a holy life. While it will give individuals the chance to repent of their sins, not everyone will, and it can be a shocking revelation to those who are distant from God. Father Michel emphasizes how important it is to get spiritually ready for this event. Those who actively pursue holiness through prayer, repentance, and the sacraments while living in a position of grace may find it easier to respond to the illumination of consciences. However, those who remain deeply entrenched in sin or spiritual indifference may squander this final opportunity for conversion. The core of Father Michel's sermon is the importance of spiritual preparation. He urges believers not to wait and emphasizes that the time to act is now. Delaying spiritual preparation puts one at risk of being unprepared when the prophecies begin to materialize. Affliction days are not far off. Father Michel promotes a fresh focus on repentance, regular confession, holy mass attendance, and receiving the Eucharist in a condition of grace. He also highlights the need of daily prayer, particularly the Divine Mercy Chaplet and the Rosary, and devotion to the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. He also encourages individuals to fast, complete penance, and read sacred scripture in order to deepen their relationship with God. Family devotion to the Sacred Hearts and acts of atonement for the sins of the world are also emphasized as essential elements of preparation. Father Michel warns that individuals may not be prepared when the prophecies begin to come to pass with lightning speed if they put off their spiritual preparation. Father Michel has disclosed several signs that will precede the most severe of the trials. These warning signs include a sharp increase in natural disasters, unprecedented economic instability, that might lead to a global financial meltdown and a growth in geopolitical conflicts that could lead to a global conflict. He also warns that increased persecution of Christians, widespread apostasy within the church, and odd celestial phenomena will be hallmarks of the events to come. In conclusion, Father Michel Rodriguez's insights call for immediate spiritual action in light of the impending era of cleansing and divine justice. His message is sobering, but it also offers hope and security to those who are ready to turn back to God and find comfort in His love. By spiritually preparing via prayer, repentance, and devotion to the Sacred Hearts, believers can find peace and shelter in the looming storm. The time has come for action. The days of divine mercy are drawing to a close, and the period of affliction is drawing near. Father Michel's sermon serves as a reminder that anyone who honestly seeks God will always be able to accept his protection and mercy, regardless of the difficulties that lie ahead. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. Your presence and participation have made this study compelling and important. Until the next time, 
May the stories we have shared about the human condition inspire and encourage you.